Hair loss. Now this is a topic that makes a lot of people cringe, especially when they're in the bathroom and they look at themselves in the mirror and they see patches, receding hairlines, hair loss in the crown area, where they see hair on the floor, on the shower, on the sink, and maybe perhaps their spouse is already concerned about the hair loss because of what they see in the brush. In this educational video, we are going to be talking about the myths of hair loss, why it happens, and recommendations so that you can prevent it. Hello everyone, my name is David Uribe. I am a licensed barber, licensed cosmetologist, iTech certified to cut and style hair in more than 40 countries. I am also an author, barbershop owner, and product line owner. Let's dive right in into today's topic. There are two types of hair loss abnormal and normal hair loss. Let's talk about the normal hair loss. Normal hair loss is when you lose about 75 to 100 strands of hair per day. Now this is considered normal. Abnormal hair loss is also called alopecia and it happens for a numerous amounts of reasons. The first type of hair loss is called androgenic alopecia and it is caused because of hormonal changes or because of genetics. What happens in this kind of hair loss is that the strong, thick, long, healthy hair eventually thins out and it becomes like peach fuzz, vellus. And when that happens is basically when the cells are not able to produce very strong, long, dark, and healthy hair. This kind of hair loss can begin as early as the teenage years for some people especially due to genetics. It is important to highlight that almost 40% of men and women suffer from hair loss starting at the age of 35. For men, we call this male pattern baldness or alopecia prematura. And what happens is that you start losing hair in the hairline, in the crown area, and basically what you have left is a horseshoe pattern towards the bottom of the hairline. Hair loss number three. Hair loss number three is called alopecia areata, and alopecia areata is when you start losing hair in the form of patches. Some people start getting it on the beard, you get small circles where patches just fall out, or on the head, and for the most part, we have seen that this is due to stress or because the person is taking certain medicines that attacks their hair follicles and it causes the hair to fall out in patches. What we have seen for this type of alopecia that works is plasma shots. What you do is you are referred to a physician, the physician draws blood out of you and separates the blood and the plasma. The plasma is then injected to those areas where you are having the patches and in time the hair does tend to grow back. Now like I said before, this is usually caused by high levels of stress. So if you are able to level out your stress levels or you stop taking medicines that are attacking your hair follicles, with time, the hair does grow back for this type of hair loss. Other reasons as to why you will have abnormal hair loss is the lack of a good diet. When you are not eating the correct amount of supplements, vitamins, proteins, and nutrients that your body needs, your body starts to prioritize what's more important and what is not. In the case of hair, hair growth is not as important as other processes that are going on in the body as in the case to what's happening with your organs and tissues within your body that require vital and proper functions to survive. The next type of alopecia is alopecia senilis and this one happens because of old age. Once the hair is lost in this type of abnormal hair loss, your hair will never grow back again. It is permanent. Now let's talk about the treatments, what you can do so that you can reverse hair loss and so that you can treat it. The first treatment that it has been noted to stimulate hair growth is minoxidil. Minoxidil is a topical cream sold over the counter. One of the main companies that produces hair minoxidil that is very known within the industry is Rogaine. This you apply it twice a day directly into the scalp and with time it stimulates hair growth. Minoxidil can be used by both men and women and what it does is that it stimulates the cells to be able to produce the hair thicker, stronger, and longer. The second type of treatment is finasteride. Finasteride is a pill, it's an oral prescription, it has to be prescribed by a doctor and it can only be used by men. 
finasteride has been shown to be more effective than minoxidil. And some side effects that are associated with this pill are lack of sexual function or weight gain. Newer treatments that have recently surged are SMP or scalp micropigmentation. In this kind of treatment, you are tattooed little dots of hair throughout your whole scalp or in the area where you're suffering hair loss to give it a more fuller and denser look. The people that tend to use this type of treatment typically use their hair very, very short so that it can produce positive results. In addition to these treatments, there are surgical options available. Hair transplant is a method where they remove the follicle, especially from the back of the head, and they transplant it on the areas where you are balding. For this procedure, the person doing it has to be a medical licensed professional, a hair surgeon, and the cost associated with this is between $8,000 to $20,000. The last option are wigs. Nowadays, wigs have become more natural looking. They don't look as fake because they can use natural human hair. Now, before you try any of this, it is important to share with the viewers that if you are suffering from hair loss, one of the things that you can do and you should be doing on a daily basis as you're applying shampoo is to really manipulate and massage the scalp. Massaging the scalp increases blood flow. The blood flow is going to be able to feed the cells that are producing the hair with those vitamins, proteins, nutrients that they need. You should also remember that you should stop using harsh chemicals on your hair and scalp. These harsh chemicals do tend to create some type of abnormal hair loss. So whether you are using shampoo, conditioner, or any kind of styling products and even hair dyes, they should have ingredients that are not harsh, that are not harmful, and that do not create hair loss. You should consult with your barber or your stylist as to what products are more beneficial for you that have these natural ingredients and that are helpful so that you do not get hair loss. If you have found this information beneficial, subscribe to our channel, share it to your friends and family members, and give us a like. Until next time.